Hello there, my name is Steve, uh, W1SFR. I'm in uh, Sudbury, Vermont, and uh, this is a video about how I went about uh, solving the problem of trying to interface my QRP rig with a uh, frequency counter that I built uh, from Fox Delta. Uh, you can go to foxdelta.com. This is a very nice little uh, frequency counter and uh, also uh, will measure a bunch of other things and uh, uh, can be used as an RF probe as well. So a uh, multi-faceted uh, unit and it was only fifty dollars so it's a nice kit and uh, and I recommend it highly. Uh, and below that is my open QRP uh, transceiver uh, which is uh, quite the unit itself and all software driven so it's pretty uh, pretty amazing little QRP rig but I wanted to calibrate it and uh, I was having difficulty figuring out how to do that and uh, you can see the display I have it set for 730.0 so uh, I didn't know how to interface the frequency counter with the QRP rig I couldn't run it directly to the counter otherwise it would blow it up because it can only accept like uh, you know half a half a milliwatt so uh, so at five watts uh, out, the uh, the transceiver was was too hot for that to work. I tried some other methods using a little uh, pigtail out the back of the counter, and uh, that sort of thing, and try to you know uh, do a proximity thing. In other words, you lay that pigtail uh, just over the transceiver and key down, and uh, and it picks up that signal and shows you the frequency. But that didn't work. So then I went to this thing. This is a uh, a coupling device. And it works really great. Uh, this goes this goes to the transceiver. This is the antenna. Right now I have a little five watt dummy load in there, and this here goes to the uh, frequent directly into the frequency counter. On the back, what's what's the the whole uh, magic of this is in the back? You can see that the uh, the two the antenna. Uh, a transceiver uh, thing in and the uh, dummy load uh, are both jumpered okay so essentially you're sending the signal across the top of that toroid and what the toroid does of course is act as a little antenna itself and sends a signal to the frequency counter through that BNC jack there at the bottom so one leg of that uh, toroid goes to the BNC and the other one goes to ground which of course it shares with the to SO259 connector. So, uh, so everything's rigged up here and uh, I've got a key over here and you can see uh, when I key down uh, and I have already aligned this so it's at 7030.0 and as I key down you'll look at the frequency counter and it's 7.30.033 so that's as close as I could get it and uh, I'm gonna call that right on so that's how I solved that problem and uh, this turns out to be quite a quite a handy little rig here so uh, I'm happy I built that oh and uh, it's just a uh, you can see that it's some double-sided perf board there's a lot of different ways you could do that but uh, I just uh, cut a slot and a thin piece of wood I had laying around my shop and then I hot glued it in there so I think this will probably work just fine for uh, many years to come. So there it is the uh, RF frequency counter coupler and uh, works great. Alright W1SFR here uh, see you on the air. Ciao.